With just this one dish, you're about to experience three different meals all at once. Sounds exciting, right? I get it. Oxtail isn't something you have every day. You're not a huge fan of it yet. But let me tell you, it's way cheaper than usual ribeye or sirloin. So why not give it a shot? First, head to your butcher or grocery store and grab some oxtail. It's probably frozen. I bought frozen too. When choosing your oxtail, try not to pick one with too much fat like I did. Go for pieces with more meat on them. You don't want to spend all this time cooking just for the fat, right? All right, enough talk let's get to work the first thing you need to do is soak the oxtail in the cold water for at least three hours change the water a couple of times during the soak and no you really can't skip this step it's crucial next place the oxtail in a pot cover it with water and bring it to a boil this helps remove all the bone dust blood and impurities once it's boiling pour out the water and rinse its pieces under cold water yeah it's a little extra work your sink and hands will get greasy so don't forget to wipe things down while you're cooking now we're gonna simmer the oxtail oxtail for about two hours make sure to add enough water to cover all the pieces the goal is to get the meat so tender that it starts falling off the bone to remove all the strong odors from the meat o d o r s do i pronounce it well anyway to remove that throw in a few simple ingredients four bay leaves a handful of green onion roots or the white part of the green onion about 10 garlic cloves whole peppercorns and a teaspoon of salt this will really enhance the flavor without being overwhelming let it simmer and don't worry this will take at least two hours. You've got time to watch a couple of K-drama episodes. And make sure the oxtail stays submerged. If too much water evaporates, just add more to cover the bones. While that's cooking, let's prep the chive salad. Grab a cutting board and slice your chives into bite-sized pieces. I find the length of your middle finger is just about right. If you're into spicy food like me, you can slice up some hot peppers and throw them in as well. For the dressing mix, one part soy sauce, one part plum extract, one part sesame oil, one pot vinegar, one pot chili powder, 1.5 pots oxtail broth it has to be clear broth without the layer of oil on top and 0.5 pots sugar taste it and adjust with more vinegar if you want it tangier i really love the sourness of the dressing you may not then put it less and don't forget to sprinkle in some sesame seeds and pepper the trick is to add dressing to the chives little by little you don't want to drench them in sauce it's all about balance now toast the chives and dressing together make sure it's well mixed but not too salty there you go, your chive salad is ready. All right, the big moment. Look at the tender meat falling off the bones. I think I deserve a taste after all this hard work, don't you? People always say that the meat closest to the bone is the best, and I have to agree with that. Just as the rich, fatty meat starts to get a little heavy, the tangy and spicy chive salad cuts right through. It's an amazing combo that will leave your taste buds happy. But hey, this is too good to enjoy by myself. It's perfect for when you invite friends or family over. I had it all by myself. And we're not stopping here. This is Korean cuisine after all. There is always more. Take some somyeon, which is a thin noodle like angel hair pasta cappellini in Italy. Then mix the noodles with any leftover chive salad and dressing. It's like a palate cleanser, almost like desserts for Koreans. And of course, what is this dish without some soju? If you don't have soju, grab any strong drink to refresh your mouth between bites. I am completely stuffed and it was totally worth it. Thanks for watching and don't worry, I'll share the full recipe in the caption below. Oh, 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 and one more thing, I didn't let the broth go to waste. I added a little salt and pepper and then poured it over rice to make what we call kukbap in Korea. There's nothing wasted with oxtail.